this video, we're going to go over why we can't divide by zero. So this is a question that comes up uh, for high school students as well as for uh, calculus students. Why can't we divide by zero? Very basically, because we have no sensible way to define it. So let's look at some problems here regarding dividing by zero. First of all, uh, looking at our properties of division, we can say 6 equals 12 over 2 because we know that 6 times 2 equals 12. Well, by this rule, we could say that x equals a divided by b, and we can test that by saying x times b equals a. Well, if this is true for all cases, then x equals 12 divided by 0, and x times 0 would equal 12. Well, there are no values of x. There are no values of x where this could be true. Therefore, there'd be no solution. Uh, or, getting back to, we cannot divide by 0. We have no sensible way. We have no sensible way to define it. Now, let's look at some other situations. Um, why can't we divide by 0? Well, let's take the equation 1 over x, where you might eventually think we would be dividing by 0. And let's make an xy table here with values when x is 2, y is a half, when x is 1, y is 1, when x is a half, y is 2, when x is a third, y is 3. And as that denominator gets larger and larger, where the fraction becomes smaller and smaller, or closer and closer to 0, uh, the y value becomes larger and larger. So you might be tempted to say, well, it, and here would be the graph of 1 over x for positive values of x, that as x approaches 0 from the right, we go to positive infinity. So we could say division by 0 would mean that the answer would be infinity. Well, there's something that contradicts that. And that is that when we take values of x that are negative, so the same equation, y equals 1 over x, we make a table of values x and y, x is negative 2, then this becomes negative 1 half. When x is negative 1, this is negative 1. When x is a ha negative 1 half, this is negative 2. Negative 1 third, we get negative 3. And again, as we get, uh, the denominator becomes very large. Um, or the fraction becomes closer and closer to 0 from the left, we would get uh, very large, if you will, negative numbers. So as x approaches 0 from this side, from the left, we get um, what would look like negative infinity. So this contradicts directly uh, the first side here where we get po what would seem to be positive infinity eventually. So this brings us into our definitions of limits. So here we are in pre-calculus or calculus. Uh, and if you've taken a course or you're in a course of, of pre-calculus or calculus, you know that the limit of f of x as x goes to a equals l. If and only if the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left uh, that little negative sign means from the left, equals L, and the limit of f of x as x goes to a from the right equals L, meaning that as the function approaches a certain value from both sides, we have to have the same limit. And as we just saw uh, by our first graph, the limit of 1 over x as x goes to 0 from the right is positive infinity, the limit of 1 over x as x goes to 0 from the left is negative infinity. Uh, therefore, um, since the limit is not the same from both sides, the limit does not exist. And this could be written. Now, why we can't divide by 0 is because the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over x, that limit does not exist. So we're back to page 1, if you will. Why can't we divide by 0? because we have no sensible way to define it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.